All right, going live. We're gonna start in just a minute or two with our streaming story time. Hi everybody. So glad that you're here today. We have a really, really fun story time plan today. I hope you're hungry. <laughs> How are you doing today? Pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna wait probably even less than one minute. And then we're gonna get started with our stories and our songs and our dancing and all kinds of fun stuff for today. Yeah. What do you think of all this snow? Whoa, it is really, really snowy out there. That is for sure. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's kind of fun to play in the snow. Have you gone sledding or made a snowman? Yeah, it's pretty fun to play in the snow. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, what do you say, friends? Should we get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, good morning, everybody. Hi there, good morning. I'm so glad to see you today. We are going to read some stories. We're gonna do a little singing and dancing and we have a lot of fun planned. This is Streaming Storytime from Loudoun District Library and I'm Elizabeth and let's get started the way we always do with our hands. Are you ready to clap with me? Good. We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. To all our friends at story time, we clap and say hello. Yay! Hi, August. Hi, Moira. I'm so glad you're here. All right, what do we do next? We clap and then, oh, then we stamp our feet. You ready? We stamp and say hello. We stamp and say hello. To all our friends at story time, we stamp and say hello. Yay! Great job. All right, last one. Clap, stamp, and then we wave. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello to all our friends at story time. We wave and say hello. Hi there, yay. Great job. Okay, what do you think our stories are about today? Hmm, well, as always, I have some clues. And before we open up this box, let's sing our ABC song. Will you sing it with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Hmm. I wonder what letter got mailed to me. Let's open up the mailbox so we can see. Hmm. All right. I'm going to open it up. Let's see what's in there. Oh, there's a letter. What letter is it today? It's the letter P. That's right. And what sound does P make? Hmm. Okay. So our story time today. Something. It starts with the letter P. Hmm. It's a lot of options there. Let's see. Oh, I see some things in my box here. Let's see what we've got. You see what that is? It's a pencil. Hmm. Pencil stories today? No, that's not right. That's not right. Not today. Oh, what about this? Oink, 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 oink. Oh my goodness, it's a pig. Do you think we're doing piggy stories today? Hmm, no, but I'm gonna hold on to this guy because we'll need him for one of our stories. But it's not pig stories. Oh, oh my, look at this. A pirate hat. Whoa, wouldn't pirate stories be fun? I'm gonna have to remember that one, but not today, not today, whoop. There's one more thing in here. Let's see what it is. Mmm. Oh, do you see what that is? It's a pancake. Oh, pancake stories. Yum, yum, yum. Oh man, do you like to eat pancakes? I actually had pancakes this morning. How perfect is that? Hmm, I'm gonna put my pancake over here because I have stories for you all about pancakes. Now the first one is, hmm, 
I don't know where I put my book to show you, but don't worry because I know it. It's called The Wolf's Chicken Stew, and it's by Keiko Kaska. And I'm gonna use my puppets to tell this story. <gasps> There's our wolf. What's a wolf say? How? That's right. Now, once upon a time, there was a wolf who loved to eat. As soon as he finished one meal, um, 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 he was thinking about the next. Mmm, yum. Now, one day, Wolf woke up and he was hungry for chicken stew. Whoa, I need to find a big chicken to make a stew. And so, off he went, looking for the perfect chicken to make his stew. Now he hadn't walked very far when walking by he saw <gasps> Oh, that would be the perfect chicken for my stew. Oh, here I come. And the wolf started to sneak up on the chicken. Nom, nom. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. That chicken looks a little scrawny. Do you see those legs? What if there was a way that I could fatten that chicken up and have more stew for me? Oh, Wolf, you are so smart. All right, I'm gonna go home and make a plan. And he did. So off he went back to his house. Now Wolf loved food. He was a very good cook. So what he did was he went into his kitchen and he started to cook. He mixed and mixed and cooked and cooked all day long until he had made 100 scrumptious pancakes. Mm, this will fatten chicken up. And he took them to chicken's house. Now he left them right at chicken's door he knocked and he ran away. And that night he started to cook some more. Hmm, 100 pancakes. I don't think that will make the chicken fat enough. Let me make some more food. And he got out his spoon and he cooked and he cooked and he cooked until he had made, oh, I'm excited about this one. 100 scrumptious donuts. 100 scrumptious donuts. And that night, he went to Chicken's house. He left and met her door. He knocked and he ran away. <laughs> that night, he thought, I better make some more food. I want this chicken to be really plump. So he went home. He got his spoon and he started to cook. And he cooked and he cooked and he cooked until he had made an enormous, scrumptious cake that weighed 100 pounds. Whoa, this will do it for sure. And he took the cake to Chicken's house, left it at her door, knocked and ran. Now, the next day, Wolf did not feel like cooking more treats for Chicken. He felt like cooking stew for me. It was time. So he got out his big stew pan, he put it on the fire, and he went sneaking over to Chicken's house. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna find a big chicken. Uh oh, but before he could even open the door, guess who came out? you this whole time? Um, you made all those scrumptious treats? Wow, thanks. Hang on just a second. Um, oh, okay. And Chicken ran into her house and said, children, children, guess what? All those treats, they weren't a surprise from Santa. They were from Mr. Wolf. And all of the chickens, the little chicks came running out of the house like this, chip, 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 chip. And they said, thank you, thank you, Mr. Wolf. You're the best cook ever. 
her and they gave him 100 kisses. Thank you! Oh, um, you're welcome. And that night, Mr. Wolf did not have chicken stew, but Mrs. Chicken still made him a very nice dinner and let him have it with them. Anyway, he had a great dinner. And that night, when Wolf went back to his house, he got out his cooking spoon and he thought, oh, shucks, well maybe I'll make those cute little critters some scrumptious cookies. And he did. The end. Yay! Great job, everybody. Oh, man. That's pretty silly. I'm kind of glad he didn't eat all of those little baby chicks, huh? <laughs> Instead, he made some new friends. How about that? Well, I have a rhyme for you about baby chicks. Cheep, 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 cheep. And it's a finger play, so we're going to use our hands to do this one. And it starts with the chicks in their eggs. So we are going to close our hands up like this. And let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, it goes like this. Five eggs and five eggs and that makes ten. Sitting on top is mother hen. Can you put a hen on top? Bark, bark. <laughs> yep, she goes bark, bark, bark. The eggs go crack, crack, crack. What could it be? Ten little chicks as cute as can be. Can you make them hatch? Cheep, 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 cheep. Good job. All right, should we try it one more time? Get out your five eggs and your five eggs. Ready? Five eggs and five eggs and that makes ten. Sitting on top is mother hen. She goes bark, bark, bark. The eggs go crack, crack, crack. What could it be? Ten little chicks as cute as can be. And they go beep, 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 Good job. Great job, everybody. I have a song for you next. It is very, very silly. It's kind of a song, kind of a story, and it's an old song. It's called Aiken Drum. Now, if you know it, you can sing along, and if not, I bet you'll catch on. It's, it's silly, and it's got a lot of food in it. You ready? There was a man lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon and his name was Aiken Drum. And guess what? Where's my spoon? Oh, do you know what this kind of spoon's called? The big scoop? It's a ladle. Now Aiken Drum plays it like a guitar. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle and his name was Aiken Drum. Now this is where it gets extra silly because his head was made of a pancake, a pancake, a pancake. His head was made of a pancake and his name was Aiken Drum. What? A pancake head? What do you think his eyes were? I'll give you a clue. They're round, they're little, they're blue. His eyes were made of blueberries, blueberries, blueberries. His eyes were made of blueberries and his name was Aiken Drum. And his, oh, what else? His mouth was made of a sausage, a sausage, a sausage. His mouth was made of a sausage and his name was Aiken Drum. And what else? What else do you have on your face? His nose was made of a strawberry, strawberry, strawberry. His nose was made of a strawberry and his name was Aiken Drum. Hmm. Oh, what do you think his ears would be made out of? And his ears were made of, what are these? Oranges, oranges, oranges. His ears were made of oranges and his name was Aiken Drum. And his hair was made of, what is that? Whipped cream, whipped cream, whipped cream. His hair was made of whipped cream and his name was Aiken Drum. Oh, this is the silliest. And his body was made of a waffle, a waffle, a waffle. His body was made of a waffle and his name was Aiken Drum. What about his arms? What would you make his arms out of? Oh, I can think of a lot of good ideas. This is what I have. 
His arms were made of bananas, bananas, bananas. His arms were made of bananas and his name was Aiken Drum. Hmm, these are all kind of breakfast foods. What about his legs? His legs were made of bacon, bacon, bacon. His legs were made of bacon and his name was Aiken Drum. One more. And his feet were made of French toast, French toast, French toast. His feet were made of French toast and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. Played upon a ladle and his name was Aiken Drum. Yay! Great job. That song is fun because you can sing it any which way. You can come up with all kinds of different foods to make Aiken Drum out of. These were just all breakfast foods which was perfect because he had a pancake for Ed. So, so silly. All right, what do you think? All that food makes me hungry. Should we cook up some pancakes? Yeah? Let's do, you know our five little hot dog song? What if it's five little pancakes? We could fry those up in a pan too, right? Yeah, you ready? Five little pancakes frying in a pan. The grease got hot and one went. Oh, now how many? One, two, three, four. Four little hot dogs frying in a pan. Wait, hot dogs? No, no. What are they again? Pancakes. Oh my goodness. It's going on autopilot. All right, four pancakes. Four little pancakes frying in a pan. The grease got hot and one went. Bam! Oh, two exploded. How many are left? That's right. One, two, three. Hot dogs? No. Pancakes. Three little pancakes frying in a pan. The grease got hot and one went bam! Hmm. Three gone. Two left. Two little pancakes frying in a pan. The grease got hot and one went bam! Have you been keeping track? One more pancake. One little pancake frying in a pan. The grease got hot and one went bam! Should we make the pan go bam? Yeah, because we have zero, zero pancakes. Let's cook up zero. Zero little pancakes frying in a pan. The grease got hot and the pan went bam! Yay! Great job, everybody. All right, I have one more story for you today. And it is called, do you remember the book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie? Hmm? Well, I have a story today for you. Not about a mouse and a cookie, but about, oink, 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 a pig. And, of course, some pancakes. If you give a pig a pancake, and this is by Laura Numeroff, but we're gonna tell it with lots of fun stuff. So, if you have a pig, oink, 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 and you give a pig a pancake, mm, she's probably going to want, what do you put on your pancakes? Syrup, maple syrup, please. She's probably gonna want some maple syrup. So, you'll get her some of your best maple syrup. She'll put it all over her pancakes and she'll get really sticky. Oh, oh, so sticky. So she'll want to take a bath. You will get out some bubbles and make a nice bubble bath. Mm, that's nice. But what do you like to do in the bath? Do you like to play with toys? Oh, rubber duck, please, rubber duck. She'll want a toy. So you'll bring her a rubber duck. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> now looking at that rubber duck, hmm, will make her remember the farm where she was born. Oh, and she'll be a little homesick and she'll want to visit. <gasps> Let's go. And so she'll run into your room and she'll start looking for a suitcase to pack her things. She'll look in your closet. She'll look under your bed. She'll look everywhere. <gasps> and she'll find Oh my goodness, what are these? Your fanciest boots. What? Oh my. She'll put them on. Ooh, fancy.
fancy. And to go with her boots, she'll want to get all dressed up. Oh, I love getting dressed up, yay! Let's see what she can find. So you'll have to find her stuff to get all dressed up. Maybe um, some beautiful jewelry. Oh, maybe some fancy, fancy sunglasses. Ooh, wow. She'll look so good. She'll want you to take her picture. Can you get a camera? And you will, of course. So you'll get your camera and you'll take some pictures. She'll pose and then she'll want you to show her the photos. Um, I'd like to see, please, photo. Good thing this is a really quick camera. Ooh, wow, I wanna show all my friends. Please take more photos. And you'll take more and more and more. And then she'll want to send them to her friends. So you'll have to get some envelopes and some stamps and put all the photos inside. Yay! To the mailbox! You'll go outside to take these to the mailbox. On your way, you will pass the treehouse. And she will want to build! Yay! So you'll get her some tools. Let's see. Oh, a wrench, a screwdriver, and she'll get to work. There, my addition is complete. It'll look pretty nice. But looking at it, hmm, it needs a little something. Hmm. Oh, decorations! So you'll go get her some wallpaper. Let's see what I've got here. Ooh, that'll look nice. Some wallpaper and glue, please and some glue. And she'll get to work putting all the wallpaper up with the sticky, sticky glue. Ooh, uh-oh, I'm, I'm a little sticky. Ugh, ugh. And being sticky will remind her, oh, ooh, you know what I could go for? Some maple syrup, yum! And you'll go get her the maple syrup. And chances are, if you give a pig maple syrup, She's going to want a pancake to go with it. The end. Yay! Great job. Oh, my goodness. One thing leads to another, huh? Hmm. I liked how fancy she looked in all those things. Yeah. <laughs> I sure did. Well, those are our stories and our songs. I do have a couple things I want to tell you about, though. One is that we have a new story walk starting on Saturday, starting tomorrow. It will be in downtown Grand Haven, right on Washington Street, where there's the snow melt. So it'll be a really nice one if you want to go for a walk um, on a surface that's not snowy and not icy, good for strollers. And um, it'll be in the shop window, so it'll be a little bit different down there. And you can walk around, take a look at the shops, take a look at the story. It's called Winter is the Warmest season. So of course we picked it for the coldest weekend of the year. Um, and that'll be up from Saturday through the following Friday. Also, we're going to have take and makes again on Monday and they will be Valentine's Day take and makes. So if you want to make some Valentine's for somebody special, uh, come on by the library and pick those up starting on Monday. All right. What do you think? Should we say goodbye for now? All right. And I hope I see you again next Friday morning for more streaming story time. Should we wave? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'm glad you came to play. Yay! Have a great weekend, everybody. Stay warm.